Good night, everyone. Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep that energy going for Buck, everybody. You know, I was gay, I was like, BLT. And my dad was like, what are you ordering, a fucking sandwich? What are you doing? I was like, oh, and my mom was like, oh, he's gay. Can you move away from the TV so we can finish watching Donahue? That was my coming out story. Very supportive parents, um, very supportive parents. I come from a very small Caribbean family. I am Caribbean from New York. I'm from Guyana, not Ghana. People are like, I don't know where the fuck that is. Mm, we don't either. Um, very small family. Uh, my dad is a twin of 22. And my grandmother had five. She was married before with five kids with the first, so there's actually 27 of them. So we like to tell my grandfather that we're not saying that he was a rolling stone. But he's a rock, and it was definitely windy that fucking day. You know, my grandmother used to tell this story. She'd go, Bucky boy, every time your grandfather looked at me, me get pregnant. <laughs> I was like, really, Grandma? She said, yes. That's a very Caribbean thing. Yes. I was light-skinned with big legs, and I had good puss. <laughs> Grandma? Did you? Yes. I was light-skinned with big legs. I had good puss. I went to therapy for 10 years, unpackaging the fact that my grandmother has good coochie. Who tells that to a fucking child? Tonight at 2 o'clock in the morning, y'all gonna be like, hey, girl, pussy. I'm trying to get my last train wreck. Fuck the train wreck. Fuck the train wreck. Fuck the train wreck. That's how thick on Wednesdays. Whatever, it's a train wreck. Ah! So, you know, the pandemic, we're still in it, but in the South, Everything under the Mason-Dixon, the pandemic does not exist, just to let you know. In Atlanta, they are still licking each other in the mouth, in Atlanta. Brought to you by my inner white girl. Four white claws and you can just have anal sex. Back to you, but so in Atlanta, fucking <laughs> pandemic doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Doesn't fucking exist. So much so that, you know, I am crazy. So I quarantined myself. No more hand jobs, no more, no more booty calls, because that's the worst thing about the pandemic. 
I'm like, oh, no more booty calls. I'll just put my dick out the door because my dick ain't got COVID. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Speaking of which, small PSA. It's a lot of my brown people that are not vaccinated and some of you, uh, you know, translucent people that are not vaccinated as well. You don't know what the fuck are in chicken nuggets, but you still eat that. You know? Some of y'all will be sucking dick behind the dumpster tonight, and you still do that. Don't fucking get vaccinated. So like the other guy said, so the cops won't die. You know, whatever. You know. <laughs> During this crazy shit, though, I took the time I quarantined myself, and I fucking did what other people do when they have nothing to do. I organized all the apps on my phone. <laughs> Fuck them, right? You know, I deleted my Peloton app because I didn't ride that shit before the pandemic. <laughs> she paid for it, 2,200 bucks. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> but I kept one dating app. I kept one dating app during the pandemic. Uber Eats. I kept Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eats is my favorite dating app. And oh my goodness. Hello. How are you? You look expensive. Mm. Oh, got your little stud with you. Mm. 100% alpha woman. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to look at her. Her hair is so shiny. What do you feed her? Do you walk her like this? <laughs> <laughs> Not what you wanted, but man. <laughs> so yeah, I deleted all my non-essential apps. I kept Uber Eats as my favorite dating app. Because during the pandemic, I needed touch. And I had 42 minutes to take a shower before the Uber Eats driver came over. <laughs> 42 minutes. And then I got bored again. During those 42 minutes, I decided I would give myself a Brazilian. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sorry, did not know what a Brazilian was. No idea. I didn't know you had to do the front and the back. I'm a big guy, I'm kind of thick. Hot wax ain't going back there. You know? It's a lot to do. So I said, fuck it. I just gave myself a Venezuela and I just did the front. <laughs> you can have that one. I'm working on that one. <laughs> The reason why I gave myself a Venezuela is because I have one great pubic hair. I'm naturally hairless. I have seven pubic hairs just in general, and I have one gray one. You know, I guys, who in here is over 40? When I ejaculate, I fart. When I sneeze too hard, I fucking fart. When I grab things up high, I fucking fart. <laughs> Guys, follow me on social media. I have 28 followers. 20 fucking A's. B-U-C-S underscore comedy. Chicago, you've been amazing. You've been absolutely amazing. Give it up for your host. Chicago, my name is Buck. Good night. Thank you. One more time for Buck, everybody.